أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حسبنا الله نعم المولى ونعم النصير الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ومولانا حبيب إلهنا والشفيع ذنوبنا وطبيب قلوبنا العبد المؤيد والرسول المصدد المصطفى الأمجد الذي سمي في السماء بأحمد وفي الأرضين باب القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيت الطاهرين المعصومين المكرمين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الريجس وتهرتهم تطهيرا قال الله الحكيم في القرآن الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طاسين تلك آيات القرآن والكتاب المبين هدى وبشرى للمؤمنين الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة وهم بالآخرة يوقنون صدق الله العلي العظيم فرصة وازن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I promise to this week, inshallah, we will start a discussion about understanding of Nahjul Balagha. If you remember, in one of our speech, we talk about one of the great book we forgot beside Quran. One of the great book we talk a lot about it when we want to talk about the real and the high position of Mawlana Amir al Mumin Ali alayhi salam. One of the signs of the position and of the real status of the Imam Ali salam is because of the great book of Najul Balagh. Thank you so much. That's right. Thank you. But unfortunately, one of our problems is we never opened this book. And that's not... If you really think about it, that's not really a lie if we mention that maybe the majority of the Shia, they never even open or memorize one word of Nahjul Balagha. What is the importance of Nahjul Balagha? Why we should really think this is important for us to open the book of Nahjul Balagha and we study Nahjul Balagha. We have Quran. That's enough for us. And that's one of the message of a lot of Muslims. They say, okay, we, we, have, we have Quran, Hasbuna Kitab Allah. Quran, the Holy Quran, the book of God is enough for us. Why we should looking for another book beside Quran? When we study and when we read a lot of article about Nahjul Balagha, not from Shia, sometimes even not from Muslim, you understand Najul Balagha is a real interpretation of Quran. And sometimes if we want to find the real meaning and the deep meaning of Quran, because we don't have sometimes that knowledge to discover a real meaning and real message of different verses of Quran, we can find that message in an easy way, in an easy word in Najul Balagha. That's the description from one of the teacher of the University of Qahira, Zaki Mubarak, said this book, Fawqa Kalam al makhluq wa duna Kalam al khalid Most of the people, they study the Najul Balagha, they confess, they confess, Najul Balagha is duna Kalam al makhluq is duna Kalam al khalid but Fawqa Kalam al makhluq means this word is not the word of God. You can't compare that with the Quran. It's not like a word of Quran. What is beyond the word of creations, beyond the word of humans. And that's the reason we have this idea, they believe Najul Balagha is not the word of Imam Ali They said Najul Balagha is, they made many years after the time of Ali because when you study Najul Balagha, that much of 
knowledge you can find in Najib al you can compare with the time of Imam Ali alayhi salam. A real high topic and discussion in philosophy you can find in Najib al Great idea about the theory of the politic you can find in Najib Balagha. A lot of topic in theology, many years, thousand years of, after the time of the Imam Ali alayhi salam, a, a Muslim scholar, they start to discuss about it, you can find in Najib Balagha. And they said, maybe this word is not the word of Ali alayhi salam, because is not really compatible with the time of Ali alayhi salam. But when we study the history of Najjur Balagha, is no way except to confess this is just the only word of a holy man. The man we confess, he is the door of the knowledge of Prophet. Ana Madinatul Ail, wa Aliyun, Baba. He was the only person he can show us and teach us what was the real message of the Prophet. If you have a doubt, maybe what is the source of the Najul Balagha? The writer of Najul Balagha is Sayyid al Razi. In a 400 years in lunar calendar, Hijri al Ghamari. In the fourth century of Islamic calendar, he start to collect the different words of, the, of Imam Ali alayhi salam. When we read the introduction of his book, Najul Balagha by Sayyid al-Radhi, he mentioned that, at first I don't want to collect the words of Ali alayhi salam. At first I start to collect a small word and advice and hikam from Ali alayhi salam. A small article about a few words of Ali alayhi salam. When I showed this article, a small article to my friend, all of them, they amazed. One of the great words is this word. Why you didn't collect all of the word of this person? And they invite me, they encourage me to collect and to write the book of Nahjul Balagha. And he start to collecting the book of Nahjul Balagha and he collect three part of the word of Ali alayhi salam. Al Khutab wal Awamir. The first part is about the first part is about the orders and the speech of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Second, Al Kutub wa Rasail. The second part you start to collecting all of the letters Imam Ali alayhi salam gives these letters to his companions, to his son, to every people. He write it down on the paper or on a piece of wood, he start to collecting that writing. Al-Kutub wa rasail And the third part, Al-Hikam wa Mawa'iz. He collect all of the advices of Ali alayhi salam, but not all of it. All of he can find, he collect in Najul Balagha. You cannot say Najul Balagha is all of the word of Ali alayhi salam, is all of the speech of Ali alayhi salam is the most of the speech he can't find in his time. Sayyid al he can't find in his time. And the total of the number is 239 is different counting in different publish of Najul Balagha. 239 in different 249 of Khutab and a speech. 480 of advices and 79 of letters. That's the whole number of the different topic and words of Amaliya alayhi salam in Nahjul Balagha. And different people, they are really good in Arab language. The people, they are very good in grammar, Arabic, Arabic grammar. All of them, they confess. This word is very different with other people and other Arabic words. Muhammad Abda, the a scholar and almost you can say the chief of University of Al-Azhar in Egypt. A Shia, he wasn't a start a publishing Najul Balagha. A person, he started to publishing Najul Balagha in all over the Islamic 
countries and all over the Islamic community, it was a Sunni person. He 